a final farewell. But many of these 23 soldiers don't have relatives here to mourn them. They're on the other side of the front line. Their comrades stand guard, paying a final tribute. I joined this unit recently. It's an honor for me. It's part of my family, and today the man was snatched away from our military family. We are very deeply hurt. We feel emotional. He gave his life for our country. May he rest in peace. He will always be remembered. May God take him to a better place because it's a holy deed when one sacrifices himself for his country. He's a martyr. It's the last family they had. Priests say their final prayers and coffins are taken on their final journey far from the soldiers' homes. With no certainty their parents, siblings or partners will ever get to visit their final resting place. Most of these soldiers fell at the Battle of Volnavacha. Most of them were brought here from there. Unfortunately, some of them were very young. I'm sorry, this is very difficult for me, but very young men have died while protecting Ukraine, protecting all of us. The war in the East is fierce and the Russians appear to be slowly but surely grinding the Ukrainians down. But Ukrainian forces continue to resist. Russian artillery has pounded the second largest city, Kharkiv, and the port city of Mariupol. In the freezing graveyard of Dnipro, far from killing the will to resist, losses on the battlefield further fuels the anger. All we can think of is revenge, revenge, avenging our men. This gives us motivation to protect our country. It's the only way. The conflict in the East has been going on since the invasion of Crimea in 2014. An estimated 14,000 people have been killed. These latest casualties are since the recent Russian invasion. This graveyard is full of young men that have died from this conflict. But the reality is, as long as this war goes on, more will follow. Asad Beg, Al Jazeera, Dnipro.